Yo, what's up everybody? How's it going? Today we are playing Dota 1x6 and we're playing Sand King. Sand King, of course, is the new hero that was recently added and we're gonna go ahead and play his ultimate path today. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get right into it. All right, got ourselves Sand King. I'm gonna go ahead and just immediately run, uh, run, 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 run. Get myself one of these. Uh, what do you guys think? Are these being captured? Probably, right? Yeah, this one is gone. And this one is gone. All right. Goodbye, everybody. We're just gonna go back. <laughs> everybody got their share? Well, I suppose that's just how it's gonna be. Let me grab some face boots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just what the early game in 1x6 is now. Everybody runs for those because there's not really a reason to not do it. Um, it's pretty free. It's pretty nice and efficient. Oh, perfect! 10 magical damage per second. That's actually a huge deal. It's a pretty significant amount of damage if it comes to just like early farming. So I'm uh, fairly happy about picking that up quickly. Hello there, friends. And then we can uh, come in here. Then we uh, hit these with our Caustic Finale. Which also does a lot of damage. And then we quickly run in here. Thank you. Pick this up. Can I kill this creep? Oh, it wasn't even necessary. Look at that. We got him just like that. And then we'll kill these here. And that's pretty much it. We're playing the Epicenter build. I have to make a confession right here. I've actually played a good bit of Sand King today, but I haven't played the Ultimate build path just yet. I was sick over the weekend, so I wasn't able to really give it a try the way I would normally like to. Um, but good news, uh, I am getting better. I know that I was sick and then I was getting better and then I got sick again and now I'm getting better again. Uh, I went to the doctor and um, doctor said that's actually literally what happened. So doctor thinks I had some sort of viral infection at first and then as that was going on I got a bacterial infection which is apparently something that just like happens pretty frequently that's like pretty normal. So I had a viral infection that then turned into a bacterial infection. So as the viral infection cleared up the bacterial infection just didn't. <laughs> so that's very fun and just like an all-around great time. I think we can all agree on that. Um, but yeah, so that's just kind of what happened there. Good news is I feel a lot better today uh, because I was given medicine. I got antibiotics and they are already working. Like I can like clearly tell that they are working. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's nice. Anyway... Let me go ahead and uh, take down you guys. Thank you. Uh, we want to kind of kill that next wave, I think. Don't need to do that right now. So let's go back. Okay, a uh, couple things. We'll, we're playing 1x6, so we'll get an Orb of Corrosion. Hey, we're playing the video game, so we're going to buy the thing that you buy in the video game. That's it. We'll get an Orb of Corrosion, uh, then during Epicenter Effect and Preparation, you block one targeted spell or item and your incoming damage reduces by 40%. Pretty nice. One sec. <coughs> Alright, hello there. Um, we need to just a couple seconds, couple seconds, don't you worry about it. Slam this. You may notice that our, um, you may notice that our Burst Strike applies Caustic Finale, and it does. Yes, it's nice. I like it. <laughs> Pretty, pretty handy. All right, we'll level this up some more. But yeah, so we'll get we'll get Orb of Corrosion because we're playing the video game. And then we'll get a Blink Dagger and we'll get an Aghanim Scepter. And I think that seems like a pretty good build. That should do okay. We'll go ahead and uh, get these. We're a tad a little bit worried about any sort of shenanigans here. This guy has vision. Zeus just used an ultimate for something. It's ultimate path. Oh, no. Oh, God. Okay. Actually, I mean, we're probably pretty good against that, right? Because we can just, like, burst strike out and be fine. All right. Anyway. Uh, okay. A couple other things I want to talk about. Uh, well, really, only one other thing I want to talk about. I'm going to be participating in, like, a tournament-type thing over the next week. Maybe a couple of weeks, depending on how well we do. So there's a new Teamfight Tactics set coming out, which is the Riot League of Legends Auto Chess. And honestly, it's very, very good. I've already played a little bit of it. Now, there is a big streamer called BoxBox that does uh, what he calls the, the boot camp. As the new set comes out, he invites a bunch of streamers to 
come and join him for basically like a, a bit of an early season style tournament where the way it works is uh, you play and uh, every day the player or I think the two players with the lowest ranking, just like matchmaking ranking, get eliminated. So it's basically just all about playing ranking and performing well in the ladder and then uh, hopefully not getting eliminated early. And I thought it would be a nice, interesting change of pace. So I just kind of signed up to it. I've already talked about that before. But I just kind of signed up to it. I didn't necessarily expect that I would get in, but, you know, why not? Uh, but turns out, no, I, I did get in. Uh, which, by the way, just to be clear, that is actually a bit of a limited selection. Uh, there's only like, a, I think, 40 people that get in. He said like a couple hundred people apply. So, hey, that's nice, right? Anyway. New ability, cooldown 25 seconds. For 4 seconds, you gain plus 40% status resistance and create epicenter pulses for every 200 units traveled. Each epicenter pulse reduces the cooldown of this ability by 0 0.8 seconds. So I can activate this now, and now when I run around, I do this. Ooh, that's actually pretty spicy, isn't it? Mm hmm, very nice, very nice. <coughs> So, uh, yeah, that's that's it. Now, they are different brackets, so I'm not immediately going up against, like, pro players. Uh, there is a pro bracket, but we are not participating in the pro bracket. We are participating in the um, kind of amateur casual bracket. Oh, okay. Ooh, this is not good. Ah, no. Just, just hit him. Okay, we got him. <laughs> it took a while there. There's a casual bracket, as that is what they called it, uh, which is intended for, like, amateur players, new players, uh, which is also, like, a goal that they have. You know, they want to encourage new people to join the game and try out the game. Uh, so that's where we're going to be participating. We'll see how well we do. Uh, honestly... I know it's called like a casual bracket, but from what I just gleaned from like, or like what I understood from just like looking at it a little bit, there's a bunch of people there that have a lot more, a lot more experience than I do, uh, which is, you know, nearly everybody because I haven't actually really played it that much. Uh, but yeah, uh, so that's going to be interesting, but we'll try our best. Let's get some extra mana. Hey, we've got our core cool items. Pretty happy about that. Got to get that Aghanim Scepter next. I don't know if I'll upload any of this to YouTube, by the way. Again, something that I'm currently doing, right? And I've, I've talked about this, but something that we're very much doing intentionally at this current point in time is I'm just kind of trying to force myself out of my comfort zone, right? So we're just doing a couple of things that I don't really know how they would go or how, you know, what I would do with them, what kind of content I would produce with it and so on. But I'm just kind of trying to push myself to do it anyway. Just to kind of like, well, see what we're going to do, right? Because if I, because what I do is I kind of like overthink stuff and then I just kind of get stuck not doing anything. And that's not ideal, right? All right, we'll do this and then we'll just run in. Oh, this is very annoying. Alright, she should be dead. Nice. Very good. If Epicenter Pulse hits an enemy, your item cooldown reduces by 0 0.4 seconds and your movement speed increases by 4%. This bonus stacks a couple of times. Ooh, Epicenter gives you lifesteal and from any damage as a shield... From any damage, you gain a shield. 8% of our maximum HP. Pretty nice, pretty good, pretty handy. <coughs> Okay. Hello. Ooh, that status resistance is truly just devastating, isn't it? Sick. Got another kill. Looking good, looking good. 40% status resistance is just like a lot of status resistance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of crazy. All right, we'll get uh, probably just some more mana. I mean, Sanking doesn't have like good stats. 
I was gonna say the best stats, but it's not even... They're not even good. <laughs> so having some extra mana is certainly handy. You should leave a rating on the video. Alright, we'll just do this. Stomp around a little bit. Couple of hits. Nice. Trying to save my ultimate. Right, if we don't have to use it, I would rather not use it. So we're just gonna kind of... Kind of poke him down. I do need to heal though. We are going up against Zeus. Uh, Zeus ultimate build at that. And Zeus ultimate build is a build that is all about kill stealing. All about kill stealing. Look here. Oh, hello. Oh, this is maybe not so good. I'm going to use my ultimate. And then uh, it's not going to do all that much. Oh, maybe, maybe it does. And then we activate this. Oh, you stinker. That must have been just lucky, right? There's no way he has vision on this. That, that must have been... Yeah, no. That was just pure luck. Ah, oh, that sucks. That That is so annoying. Because he was going for somebody else, right? Like, I was like, it's just waiting to see who is, who is he gonna kill. He killed the Muerta. So, the fact that he hit us with that ultimate, that he stole our kill of it, pure coincidence. Ah. Oh. Well, that's just what happens sometimes, right? So we've got our Aghanim Scepter. Aghanim Scepter works a bit differently in this. Burrow Strike creates an Epicenter Pulse at the end point, and Sandstorm creates Pulses at its center, and Epicenter Thank Pulses you. apply Caustic Finale. That last thing is actually really nice. Like, that makes a really big difference, because that means so. Uh, when we use our ultimate, we actually do quite a lot of extra damage. Hello. Nice. Plus three epicenter pulses. Once every five seconds, you automatically create an epicenter pulse using abilities and items with a 60% chance ends the cooldown of this effect. So when we use an active item, that um, cooldown can be reset and we can create additional epicenter pulses. Hey, Sha7, thank you so much for the nine months. Appreciate it. Oh, one thing I also want to kind of try out with um, the TFT thing, just because we're experimenting right now, is what I'll probably do is I'll be streaming like on less of a schedule with that. Which, what I mean with that is usually the way I stream um, is that I always stream at the same time, on the same days, pretty much no matter what. And I don't overshoot that, I don't undershoot that, that's just our schedule. But I think for this TFT event, what I'll probably do is I'll just, you know... Oh, I want to play two games? Let's just toss on the stream really quick. I don't know if that's going to be better. Probably not. But I want to try it. Again, right now we're feeling a little... Lots of love, Boomy. I don't know how to... What, what's a good word for it? We're feeling a little open to uh, new ideas. Hey, Tasteful Sinner. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Oh my god, this is so much damage. All right, we get a second epicenter. <laughs> oh my god, okay. And there we go. That's brutal. <coughs> adventurous. There we go. That's a good word for it. We're feeling a little adventurous. Uh, let's get some armor. So, we have our Aghanim's Shard, which reduces the epicenter cast point, increases its radius, and the first pulse inflicts a break. Very good effect. Very powerful. Okay, um, well, we already have pretty much everything we need. We want active items with this build. Active items are king. Uh, we want cooldown reduction. I think I'm actually just going to start out with cooldown reduction because we really do want cooldown reduction. So let's just kind of get, get going with that. Uh, Where? Here? There. Ah, it's too far away. He was... Too low on my screen. I couldn't click on it in the time. What are you doing? This is not a good idea. I will do some extra damage with this and then... I will die. <laughs> I mean, I got him, but it's not worth it. <laughs> Talking about not a good idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah.
I have my cast a bit interrupted there, which is a little annoying. Oh, well. Everybody's dead. That's true. Everybody's dead. Why is everybody dead? <laughs> okay. Well, we'll go ahead and see if we can maybe snatch up these anyway. We have a couple of seconds, right? All right, we'll pop one of these. Oh, what's brutal is really just that low cast point. Because of the low cast point, we can literally just throw it in there in the middle of a fight. It changes everything. It takes a pretty mediocre ability and makes it very strong. Plus five epicenter pulses. Once every uh, five seconds, you automatically create an epicenter pulse using abilities and items with a 100% chance ends the cooldown of the effect. So now whenever we cast an item or an ability, we get another epicenter pulse, which is kind of crazy. Look at that. Ooh, filthy. And this right here, this cooldown also lowers itself as I get epicenter pulses, right? Look at that. <laughs> That's so silly. Epicenter gives you spell lifesteal, lifesteal, and a shield. Yes, very good. Oh, uh, about the um, TFT thing. So, for this event, coaching is allowed. Like, backseating, all of that. That's fine. You can have people just telling you what to do. That is explicitly allowed. Um, I think I will go for this. I mean, we are triggering this non-stop. It is allowed. Now, you can even have a coach, like, straight up have somebody just, like, be on a call with you and tell you what to do. Uh, but I don't want that. That seems a bit, like, cheating to me. However, if you are a competent TFT player, feel free to stop by. <laughs> feel free to stop by and let me know what I'm doing wrong. As far as I'm concerned, that's not cheating. It is a streamer event, right? It's, it's four streamers, and to me, my stream isn't just me, you know? It's it's my community. That's the whole point of it. So, let's come here. Let's go back. Any chance to abuse it with toggle items? I don't think so. Xeno tends to be on top of that kind of stuff, and if not, it would be patched out by now for sure. Let's get some extra status resistance, I suppose. So we got this upgrade earlier, which makes our um, Caustic Finale more powerful, which actually seems really handy. So active items. Well, there's only one active item I care about. Is that even good? Should I just get Hex instead? Maybe Hex is better. I mean, Hex is definitely better, but like, do I care if Hex is better? Oh, I found him. <laughs> oh dear, okay. Well. Can't cast, can't cast, can't cast. Alright, we have status resistance. And epicenter? She's dead? Nice. Well, it's interesting. I can't cast this while I'm rooted. Which feels weird because, like, it's not a movement ability, right? Why can't I not cast it while rooted? But I couldn't. Yeah, there's the razor. I was thinking he would go for that. I'm just covering my options there, but I, I want to make sure that we get him. Oh, I just blocked my own camp. Not the smartest thing I could have done. All right, activate this here. Tank, 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 tank. <laughs> oh my god. Just died to the like random creeps. Ah, you know what? I don't even care about blocking this camp, to be honest. I don't even care. I'm not just I'm just not gonna farm it. Let's go, Sand King. Sand King. This, like, this is the ultimate Sand King dreams of. This is the ultimate Sand King has always wanted. 
Epicenter has 23 seconds cooldown. Let me get here, next level day again. I have lots of vision on the... Ooh. Okay. So we know where the Muerta is going. I think I just go for the Muerta, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Why? That doesn't seem like a good idea, if I'm honest. Alright, I need to just survive like a couple of seconds. And he's dead. Ooh. Just burns him out. Uh, burst Strike guarantees you invulnerability. Attacks reduce the cooldown of it. That's not bad, but let's see if we can get Caustic Finale stuff. Minus one Caustic Finale stack to trigger explosion. Oh my god, that seems absurd. That seems crazy good, right? I know there's a dude here. Where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? TP back? Why would he TP? Probably saw me coming. All right, so I I'm gonna have to fight the the uh, the Monkey King now. Who's definitely the strongest hero and is, is very likely to have a BKB. And if he's got a BKB, then that's just it, right? Like, yeah, he's got a BKB. So how do we win against BKB? Do we win against BKB? Can we win against BKB? All right, okay. Gotta dodge this. Oh, we win. Whoo! Nice. If I may just say so, I think I outplayed him there. <laughs> I think, I think we just outplayed him there. Okay, there is a uh, Razor. Did we just kill the Razor? I mean, I'm thinking we just killed the Razor, right? Also, there's the Morta again. Uh, we will definitely stop the Morta from taking that. Oh, there's a BKB. Oh my god! Nice BKB, buddy! <laughs> <coughs> nice BKB. <clears throat> All right, we've got this. Goodbye. I mean, this seems this seems well balanced. Hey. Oh, I'm low on HP. Oh, I can't. Oh, fuck. Oh, I should have. Ah, I should have used Epicenter. That's my bad. The thing is, you can't use Quake and Tremble and Epicenter, uh, Epicenter at the same time. And I made a mistake there. I used my. I used my Quake and Tremble. Instead of the epicenter, and then I died. Because epicenter would have protected me, gives me a shield. I'm not actually that tanky. Uh, let's get a hex. Wind Waker? Wind Waker's really good here, right? Not entirely sure what we want, but should have pressed the I win button. <laughs> I should definitely have pressed the I win button. It's a good button. What can I say? <coughs> Cossack Finale Explosions reduce the target's magic resistance. Woo, let's go. Structures fortified. That seems nice. So I can't just straight up kill through BKB, right? If I get a base disabler, I will probably just try to knock out the Zeus, since he seems like the most immediately threatening. <laughs> just because he's got like a lot of utility and such. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sure, that seems fine. I don't know. I don't, have no, I, I, don't, I don't see a problem with that. Alright, pick up this. 
<coughs> Sorry. I am much better today. Much, much better. I feel so much better. I mean, if you guys were here on Saturday, right? Like, on Saturday, I tried to stream, and I literally couldn't speak, because every time I tried, I was coughing. Compared to that, I, I feel so much better today. It's actually, like, such a relief. But, uh... Oh, where are they? Oh, I found a monkey. I guess it'll do. <laughs> oh, I died. <laughs> yeah. I almost killed him straight through BKB. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, so be it. I feel like I'm I'm throwing a little bit right now. But I, I, I am not really throwing. I mean, I did try to kill him, right? I didn't know he had Lincolns, though. So he's got Lincolns and BKB. Which is a bit, anno bit annoying. Mm. Got some armor. Does Omni Slash count as movement so it can trigger trample? trample? Probably. It's an interesting idea. Omni Slash Trample. The problem with Omni Slash Trample is that you're probably better off just using Omni Slash without Trample, right? <laughs> like, sure, it probably works, but like, is that better than just Omni Slashing somebody? Hmm. Alright, we'll kill the Zeus. I gotta get rid of this monkey too. Uh, we can... The thing is... I can control the monkey. I'm not actually that worried about monkey. Like, just give me like a couple more items, a bit more time. We can get to a stage where the monkey king will just get... Completely overwhelmed by a million sources of disable. And then we'll be fine. But the same isn't necessarily true against Zeus. Oh, I'm silenced. That's rude. Oh man, I'm getting fucking perma stunned here. Okay. <laughs> All right. See, this is what I mean. This is exactly what I'm worried about. Okay. Gotta find him, gotta kill him, gotta kill a space. I think that's gotta be the plan. Found him? Silence, that's fine. What? Wait, what just happened there? Why did he not get stunned? And there's our ultimate again. And there we go. Is there enough time? Maybe. Um, stands the movement speed, burst strike can be cast a second time. You dash for 400 range, attacking enemies hit and greatly slowing them. Now that seems really bad. Sandstorm movement speed, during the first three seconds of Sandstorm, you, you move 20% faster and cannot be slowed. That seems better. Oh shit, he's back. Yeah, we're not getting this. Annoying. I probably should have just taken the buildings. But if I can catch him once now, I can kill him. Oh no! Oh no. That's worse. The monkey got it. 
I mean, I guess at least he's dead. <coughs> Structures fortified. I guess at least he's dead. Alright, we'll stomp, stomp, stomp a little bit here. Okay, we go back, we kill our creeps, immediately start attacking the, um, the Razor. Just instantly, just run over there. Because we need to, we need to not, I don't, don't even have time for that. We can't give the Monkey King any time at all. Oh, you, are you fucking waiting for me? Okay. I don't think I have enough survivability. Fuck. Ah! It's not enough. Monkey shows up now, we're screwed. Hmm. <laughs> what do we do about that? I guess we need to contest the center. Is there even enough time? Any of this mine? None! No, I got one of them. Okay, that's fine. That's all I need. Just just one fucking book. Just give me one book, that's good. Please! Yes, 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 yes. Okay, it's winnable. Winnable, winnable, winnable game. Alright, go, 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 go. Yeah, no, that's fine. We go up into the air. Nice BKB, buddy. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Fuck. Do I buy back? Man, I can't believe I lost that fight. <sighs> it's this right here, right? The spellbreaker, he didn't have that earlier. Oh, no. Yeah, this is the issue now. Right? The Razor kind of had to pick between itemizing for me or itemizing for the Monkey King, and he chose me. So now he can survive my damage, but he doesn't stand a chance against the Monkey King. And I don't think there's really much I can do about that, unfortunately. <coughs> yeah, like that's just unfortunate, I guess. <laughs> Is that the complete assessment there? This is just bad. Uh, I mean, at least he's not dead. Oh, shit. Oh. All right, we got him. Please, 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 please. Good, good, be good, be good, be good, be good, be good, be good. What? No, no, no. Can I TP? Okay, we're good. We're good. We're fine. <laughs> I thought we got stuck. We had somebody else get stuck in the arena earlier. Shit. All right, I can at least use this to control. No, he's already in there. Please, Toast. Toast, do it. Come on, you can do it, buddy. Do it for me. Just kill him. You can win this fight. I believe in you. Winnable. Winnable fight. Winnable fight. <gasps> you did it. <laughs> All right, we got him. 
<laughs> Caustic Finale Explosion heal you for 2% of maximum health. While below 40% health, the healing increases by 3 times. That seems really good, actually, for us. Alright, it's fine. <laughs> oh, man. <coughs> So, Monkey King is getting uh, the thing, right? He's gonna get a nullifier. What do we do to counter a nullifier? We die? Is that right? Is, is dying our game plan? Do I need boots? I probably do need boots, right? Can I get rid of boots? Can I get rid of blink? I can probably get rid of blink. Do I need blink? I don't need blink. So we can get Lincoln's, Shiva's Guard, or Heaven's Halbert. Which one do you guys like the most? Or E-Blade, I suppose. Crimson Guard? Hmm. I think we get Shiva's Guard. Okay. All right, hello, friends. Got him. Whoo! Scary. <laughs> really, really scary. No Lincolns anymore, though. Oh. Nice ult, I guess. Take your time. <laughs> I'm just... I'm just gonna hang out over here. Yeah, I know. The Monkey King versus Crystal Maiden duels on. Oh, there we go. Got him. Nice! Let's go. <coughs> this build seems broken as hell. <laughs> it does so much damage. It's insane. Absolutely insane. Just, just the sheer amount of damage. I mean, it just straight up kills people right through BKB, right? And, and that seems wrong to me. Like, I don't know... I don't know if your magic damage build should be able to just, like, kill people right through BKB. That seems a little weird. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's Sand King. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. I would definitely appreciate that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.